All right, welcome to part four of um, how to make a character. Um, in this part, we are going to cover bone raking. Um, <clears throat> now, you probably have already seen uh, the first three tutorials, but if you haven't seen them, I recommend you to watch them. Uh, <clears throat> um, the first two parts uh, covers how, they, uh, how the character is drawn, um, and the third one um, showed how... Um, we add shadows and uh, light uh, on the character, and now we are going to add bones to the character so that, so that we can move it. All right, so as you can see right here, um, I have put the character in a bone layer, um, and we need to do that because otherwise we can't draw bones. So I'm going to zoom in right here. So what we need to do is, uh, make, is to make a structure of these bones. So that way, um, we are, the, the character uh, will be easier to move. And I'll show you how to do that. What I also do is uh, I start with uh, drawing a bone on the hips. So you take the Add Bone tool right here and you hold your mouse. And then you move down below. So that way a bone is created. And put them here in a bit of a straight line right here. So now it looks like this. Now we are going to make the second one. And keep in mind that um, we need to attach all the bones to each other. Um, and we do that by selecting the bone. So if I uh, click on click anywhere, it becomes blue. That means it's not selected. And we need to uh, select it uh, when we draw the bones. Otherwise, they won't be connected. And that means that it will... Uh, it will get messy. So, while this bone is selected, you draw a bone right here. <clears throat> there we go. Then we draw a bone for the neck, and since the head covers most of the neck, we just draw a little tiny bone right here. Um, and again, they are all connected to each other. If we take this tool right here, you see a arrow is pointing to this bone, and this bone right here, if I select it, is an arrow pointing to this bone. That means they are connected with each other. <clears throat> so now we have to connect this one, this one again. We select it and then we add a bone right here for the head. And then we are going to make bones for the arms, but we want the arms to be connected with this bone, with the body bone. Um, take the add bone tool and we just draw it right here. Now, before I go further with this, by the way, uh, let me show you how um, right here. Um, as you can see, um, there are points right here. Um, and in a previous tutorial, um, I told you to do this because uh, uh, because for right now actually um, because we need to have points right here for uh, the bo for bone rigging um, so you need to make sure that the bone stops right here where the points are basically um, and so um, then of course we have to add a new bone right here which is connected to this one um, and make it bigger. And then finally, we also make a bone for the, ha the hand. <clears throat> All right, and then basically we're doing the same thing for this arm right here. And since it's behind the body layer, I'm going to make the body invisible. Uh, we select the body bone so that it will be connected to the body bone, of course. And we just draw Two bones right here, three, one for the hand. Just to make sure um, if there are points right here, as you can see right here, the points. So we can just move them a little bit here so that it's in a straight line with the middle where the beginning of the second and the end of the first bone. So then we are going to um, <clears throat> do it for the legs. Um, I'm going to make 
uh, the right hand invisible so I can see it better and also the hips and the body <clears throat> so for this one we don't select the body bone but the hips bone so we connect it to this bone right here and uh, the body bone of course is selected to the hips bone and that way um, you get as we say as I, as I uh, said before uh, a structure of these bones um, so I, I go back to the character layer and while this one is selected you draw bone then another one and then another one in front of the shoe just to make sure um, if the right leg also has the points yes it has just correct them a little bit like this All right so back to the character layer and then we are doing the same thing for this one again there we go just see if everything is good right here there we go all right um so let's make everything visible again now we have added the bones in front of the character but uh, that doesn't mean they are all um, connected and that they move um, the way we want because if we take this manipulate bones tool you see not only a lot of areas um, uh, become visible but if I move it <coughs> we get this and of course this is not what we want um, <coughs> we have to adjust the bones and we have to do several other things to make it right um, so what we do is I go to back to frame one and if you do that by the way everything goes back to normal um, <coughs> so these areas that you see right here these blue transparent regions are is the bone strength <coughs> um, and that means everything that is inside of this area will be uh, influenced by it so it will be moved by the bone <coughs> and what we need to do we need to reduce these bone strengths um, so we start with the head as if I select it you can see it becomes red and all you just do is you select it hold your mouse and move to the left and then you can see that it gets reduced same for the neck same for the body and for the hips and for the arms and legs however we are going to uh, reduce them a little bit not too much because we need the bone strength for these layers like this reduce it and for the hands we can just reduce them uh, completely so just like this room and this one just a little bit and this one and this one and this <clears throat> all right so now we are going to um, attach the bones to the layers right here. Um, I, I'll skip the arms and legs um, for now because I'm going to show you how to do that. We are going to that, do that a little bit different. But uh, let's start with the head right here. Um, what happens is um, you get this tool right here, the bind layer tool. And if you click on it, um, all you need to do right now is, is select the bone that you want it to be connected with which in this case is this one right here so it gets full red um, which means this bone is now connected to the head layer um, then we did then we have the shading neck layer which is the shadow of this one right here and basically we do the same thing again we select it to this bone um, then the arm shading and light of course uh, yeah, we skipped that by the way, uh, the arm uh, as well. The right hand, um, we can do the same with. Take the bind layer tool and we select this bone right here. Then we take, um, let's see. 
yeah, the shading of the body. Um, for that, of course, we select this bone and the body itself, of course, as well. Oh, yeah. Um, we skip the legs, then the hips. Um, again, the light and the shading of the hips, the hips themselves, all connected to this bone. Um, then the left hand. Um, we for that we select this bone, of course, and then finally the neck, which was right here. Take the bind layer tool and just select it to this bone. So what happens is uh, if you go, if I go to the character layer, and I take the manipulate bones tool, if I move it, you see right now with this bone, only the head is moving. Uh, not anything else. And if I take this one, the neck is moving uh, with the head, of course, because, like I said, they are connected. And that is how a structure is created where it moves as a body with arms and legs. Um, <clears throat> but now we have to um, connect the arms to the bones. So, uh, like I said, we're going to do it a little bit different for that. So let's start with the right arm here. So for this we are going to take this uh, select bone tool and we just select both of these uh, bones right here. Um, now while you're on the right arm layer and the, these are both selected, you go to bone and you click on use selected bones for flexi binding. So if I take the manipulate bones tool, you can already see it. it Still the legs and everything are moving with it, but we'll fix that in a minute. Um, <clears throat> same thing is for um, the shading right here. We just do, um, we select these bones because we want to have them connected to it. And we click on use selected bones for flexi binding. So again, now they are moving with it. And again, not uh, exactly the way we want, but we will all fix that. Um, uh, same thing for the other arm, uh, let's see, the left arm, select it, and we click on use selected bones for flexi binding. Then uh, the same for the shading, if I can find it, oh no, oh we don't, oh, I see, oh we don't have shading or light. Oh yeah, okay, and uh, never mind. Um, so now to the legs. Um, yeah, again, um, start with the right leg. Um, wait. Um, of course we have shoes right here, so let's select all these layers right here. Let's just see how it works. If that would work. Okay, yeah, and then finally on the, now first the shading, um, again, and maybe we can just select these alone, because we don't need this bone for these, uh, these shadows and lights on the legs, like this, alright. Um, <clears throat> Um, all right, and finally the left leg, of course. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, I have to select all three of them. Like this. There we go. And the shadows and the lights. So, if you would move it right now, you see that... Um, well, when I move these bones, only the leg, uh, the left leg is moving, and in this case, only the right leg. And same for the arm, only the right arm and the left arm are moving with these bones, and nothing else. So that way, you really get a structure where you, each bone um, moves one part of the body. And that way uh, it 
gets far more easier to animate. Um, so yeah, that's bone rigging. Um, there's a lot to do, of course, because not everything is perfect. For instance, um, the arm isn't bowing the way we want. Um, uh, the arm is bending, uh, not like a real arm would bend. As you can see, it, we get problems right here. And of course, the light and the shadows aren't going so well. Um, but that uh, will uh, is something that I will cover in next week. And uh, that is uh, going to be the last part of this uh, series of how to make a character. And that is how to add smart bones to them. And with smart bones, you basically complete your character and uh, yeah that's how uh, you make it far more easier eventually to animate your character so um, yeah that's the end of this tutorial um, I hope you guys learn a lot about this um, if you have any more questions leave comments and yeah thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe for more I make new tutorials every week on Wednesday I also make my own animations I will upload them whenever they are ready so you can watch those as well thanks for watching guys